Evernote's one of my favorite tools for curating content. Um, and I'd like to show you how I use it professionally and personally. Um, so I'm, I'm logged into my Evernote that's installed on my computer. Um, and you'll notice that I've set up several notebooks over here um, on the left. And these notebooks kind of just help me organize different areas of my life. So for example, I have a notebook just for confirmations. So whenever I receive um, confirmation from a conference, or um, here's one from a half marathon. Um, anytime I have any kind of number that I, I need to remember that has a um, you know an order number or a confirmation number, I save it to the confirmations folder. I also have folders for consulting. Um, I have a, a folder here for personal, and um, I haven't used that too too much, but um, I tested out you know saving pictures and audio clips. Um, to the personal folder. And then I have a folder for um, research that I come across um, and that I'm trying to conduct. And then the folder that I use the most is teaching. So whenever I find resources that I want to use um, in my classes, I save it to the teaching folder. And the way that I then delineate between different classes um, is I use tags. So for example, in our own class, um, I've used the tag um, OOC. So you see I have nine resources saved here. So those are resources that as I come across them I know I want to use them um, in a specific course so I tag it with that. And then I'll show you in a little while how you can also further add comments on um, what you'd like to do with each resource. But this just kind of gives you an idea of how things are organized um, in Evernote once you once you save it there. Now let me show you what it's like when you're actually out on the web and you find a resource that you decide you want to save for later. So let's just say I'm browsing Twitter um, and I come across a really good article that I know would be um, a good resource for one of my classes or maybe it's just something I want to read further later. Um, so let's say I, I click on this Edutopia article and I, um, you know, maybe I just don't have enough time to browse the whole thing, or maybe I do, and I read it critically, and I realize this is a really good resource for, um, you know, the fourth week of the EDTC 538 OOC. So what I'm going to do to save it to Evernote is to use this web clipper, and it's a browser add-on that you install when you install Evernote to your computer. So you see the button says clip to Evernote, and I'm going to click that button. And you notice it put this little yellow box around the resource. So it's telling me it's going to clip this article and I can choose whichever notebook I want to put it in. And so in this case I'm going to put it in the teaching notebook and I want to tell it to, that it's a resource for the OOC. So I'm going to use the OOC tag. And then under here I can um, add even more comments. So I know this is a, a resource that I want to use for week four. So. and I can add as much text here as I need to. And then I can just click on Save Article. So you see it says Clipping the Article, and then it tells me that it's been successfully clipped, um, and it also shows me other notes that I have that are similar. So I can close that, and now all I need to do to make sure that it's saved to Evernote is to come back here to Evernote and click on the Sync button. And you'll see now that I've synced, that article that I saved is um, up here at the top with the date and the tag that I gave it. And you see here are the notes for what I want to do with this resource. Um, and so the beauty of this is that now that I've saved it to Evernote, um, it does give me a link to the original article. But if for some reason Edutopia decides to take the article down or the link becomes broken, I still have the article text saved here in Evernote. Another feature of Evernote is that you can use it across your devices. So if you're on your mobile phone or your tablet and you have the Evernote app installed, you can do the same thing to save resources to your Evernote notebooks. Um, and they sync across devices. So I think one of the aha moments for me um, in this cloud-based software is when I saved um, some resources to a research folder and um, went to a meeting with some colleagues 
and was able to pull up these resources from my tablet. So these resources become accessible to you no matter where you're at in the world, as long as you're able to connect to the internet. So spend some time um, experimenting with Evernote. Um, go ahead and create some notebooks that make sense to you in terms of organization. And to do that, you just need to click on File and click on New Notebook. And you can say OK. And that creates um, a brand new notebook that you can then save, save resources to from the web or even from right here in Evernote. So if, if you just need to create a note to remind yourself of your shopping list um, for later, you can do that. quickly and easily and sync it across your devices um, so that you can pull it up on your phone while you're in the store. So spend some time experimenting with Evernote um, both on your computer and if you get brave enough go ahead and install the app on your phone or your tablet um, just so you can practice syncing um, across devices and um, getting that benefit of the cloud-based functionality that Evernote offers.